As you have here on the Huffington Post this piece, non-Facebook stalking, alluding to the ease with which we use the word stalking in a, in a very uh, simplified way, but your issue wasn't so simple. Can you tell us your story? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I started dating this woman um, and we moved in together. Um, she was very controlling, um, jealous, manipulative, um, during the year and a half that we lived together. And when I left her, um, it was really just beginning. Um, she texted me dozens of times a day, often with messages um, that were either mean, sometimes remorseful, I'm sorry, please come back. Um, and, but a lot of the time either, um, threatening in nature or things like that, calling me on my work phone, my cell phone, leaving me messages. Um, and it didn't stop for over a year. Um, and I, like you were saying, um, it is isolating because saying that, you know, someone that you're going through a breakup with is still calling you is um, not only on the legal side, not necessarily you're able to prove that that's an illegal crime, but, um, even just to tell friends or coworkers to express it yourself, um, I, I didn't quite understand that what was going on was stalking. The stalker's entwined in your life, and so other individuals might brush, brush it off as being, oh, you're just tired of them being in a relationship, you're just bad-mouthing the individual. I absolutely experienced that as well. You know, of course, when you date someone for a year and a half, they're going to be a part of your, you know, she had met my family um, and my friends, and so everyone, knew her as a person. It's not this anonymous stranger um, who has suddenly fixated on you and is now stalking you. It's someone who um, a few months ago, it was fine if they called you and or texted you and now you're trying to explain that it's not. One of the things, Sarah, that I'd like you to touch upon in your work, we are, relationships have changed, dynamics have changed. We are no longer simply male, female. And it's easier for a cop to say, oh, this dangerous guy, this bill looming guy, of course he's being a stalker. When you have relationships that happen to be two men or when you have a, a female who's stalking an ex-husband, or in your case, if you have a female love interest who's stalking yourself, it's more, even more difficult sometimes to get individuals on your side because of the difference in idea of what a stalker looks like in a stalking stalker relationship. Absolutely. I mean, that's a theme throughout all issues of sexual violence is always assuming that um, a man is doing this to a woman um, and not having it not even cross someone's mind that if there could be a female offender, a male victim. Um, there are there are no um, limits on the gender of this crime. Um, and I think that's part of why I almost didn't realize uh, what was happening to me was um, so serious uh, and dangerous because I had been taught growing up in the same society as everyone else that this is something that men do to women. Um, and I think I had some internalized homophobia that was that made me believe that because my stalker was a woman, maybe she wasn't as dangerous, but she was physically violent with me and sexually violent with me. And um, the fact that she was a woman made no difference in that. 